Greetings everyone, welcome to my third LP. Uh, I'm proud to present Hegemony, Philip of Macedon, which is um, a sort of indie strategy game I've been wanting to um, make an LP of for a, for a while now. And, um, well, just gonna just uh, get right to it. And, um, what uh, I'm gonna do is go casual, yes, because uh, <laughs> I've actually tried this quite a few times before I started recording. I had it for a while now, and it's actually hmm, a very difficult game for me. I'm not very good at strategy games. Um, and also looking at how how uh, Warband went, and I don't really want to end up dying in an LP. Um, so uh, I'm just going to go casual, and uh, it's, it's going to be tough enough in the beginning, I think, and even as you progress further on, become mightier, um, the enemy won't just stop being um, I completely lost my word there. Um, they will still be difficult. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead, and uh, there's going to be an intro movie, so I'm just going to shut up right now. Oh, and this is, um, since it's Philip of Macedon, I'm guessing that you know that this is about Greece. Yes. The Kingdom of Macedon was a weak, tribal kingdom when the Illyrians invaded Upper Macedonia from the west. King Perdiccas III mobilized the entire Macedonian army and marched forth to stop them. The army fought bravely, but were no match for the battle-hardened hoplites of the Illyrian king, Bardalus. In the thick of battle, Perdiccas fell to an enemy spear and his army was slaughtered around him. With news of the defeat, the king's younger brother Philip returned from fighting in the east. The heir to the throne was Amantas IV, an infant. The Macedons gathered to elect another king in his stead. Philip's half-brother Archelaus made a claim to the throne, but Philip proposed an alternative to supplanting the heir. After a fierce debate, Philip compelled the assembly to elect him as regent to act on behalf of the infant king. Archelaus was put to death as a traitor. The Kingdom of Macedon had leadership once again. Hope had been renewed. But Philip would have to regain control of the Macedonian cities and drive the invading armies out of Macedonia if the kingdom was to survive. All of this is in game. I mean, it's, it's seamless. Um, zoom in and out. So I'm going to show you later. Right. So um, there's going to be a very quick tutorial here. So I'm going to I'm going to see if I can show you what I'm meaning. Um, so th there's a very big map here. Uh, Greece, of course. Uh, if you don't know who. Um, Philip of Macedon is, um, guessing that you've heard of at least Alexander the Great, and uh, Philip was his father, and he is the one who basically made Macedon strong and uh, allowed allowed uh, Alexander to um, well start off with an already strong army to uh, fight the Persians eventually and and go to go to India and, and things like that. Um, so this game is about him, and um, yeah, as I said, seamless. You you can move in to the actual like um, campaign map here, or battle and building map, and then zoom out. You can see your your buildings here, and I'm playing as a uh, as Imperial Purple, starting here at this uh, this location. Uh, I can't even see the name. Okay. 
Anyway, let's get this tutorial over with. Rotate, blah blah blah. And right. Pause at any time, which is nice. So e even if I um, don't do anything and I don't pause, uh, time will progress. So um, even like a enemies outside the border will still be very active, and I've been attacked plenty of times when I was like taking it slowly. So I'm gonna see if I can do something about that this time. Right, so I got Philip right here in this town. Now I can see the name, Ajie. And um, I'm gonna couple him with. I'm gonna couple what the fuck. I'm gonna combine him with, uh, <laughs> with a companion cavalry, the very foundation of Alexander's army, um, most famous cavalry unit of the ancient Greek worlds. Uh, right, so you have um, you have generals basically. And not not um, too many of them, but you you can get more, and you can combine your generals into units to uh, make them stronger. And right now I have this uh, blue bonus here from uh, from my general as a as a bonus, yeah, plus uh, plus one hundred from generals skill, and then I got the unit skill which is plus twenty five because they're like already leveled up. Right. So, um, yeah, to, to my left here, I got st stuff that has happened already. Uh, here on the right, I got my current objectives. And I can always choose what objectives I should do. And uh, what, what I should focus on. So, I got the ready companions. I've already completed that one, most of it. But I need to do the resupply companions to, to really... I'm sorry, this is the active one, and I need to re resupply them to complete it. When that happens, I can probably go to Amathia to recover the current state of anarchy. Philip must reestablish leadership of the native Macedonian cities of the Kingdom of Macedon. Head west to reclaim the city of Amanthia, which lies just across the Haliakmon River from Aegea. So that should be this town, I think. But, since it's a tutorial, I need to complete them uh, in this order. But once the tutorial is kind of over, I can choose... Um, I can choose, basically, where I want to go, what objectives to complete. Do I want to go north, west, south, and things like that. So that's a very nice feature in this game. Uh, you can choose how to progress. Right, so we got our first enemy unit here, and these are Peltasts. Um, anyone who's played Rome to a Wall will know that these are very light infantry. Uh, actually, they're skirmishers. So uh, my companion cavalry will not have any problem defeating these guys. Now, what's very uh, important in this game is tactics. You need to... Um, Basically, uh, use your units to surround, surround, and basically, yeah, just like in Total War, you need to remove the morale rather than the uh, soldiers themselves, making them rout. Uh, and uh, because sometimes, uh, let's see, right, I just capture this unit to uh, create slaves. Um, yeah, morale is, is much more important to to destroy rather than the actual unit itself. Unless you want, well, it would be nice to have like a co combined arms focus of infantry, uh, archers or, or ranged and cavalry so that you can flank with the cavalry and, and um, do just like I did here capture the unit and make them slaves, because with the slaves you can put uh, that unit in other cities to build walls, uh, put them at f in farms uh, to, to uh, create more m food, and in mines to create more gold. Right now I don't have a lot of gold, um, I probably get this one only from my city, 
but if I can get a mine, I can I can increase that gold by a lot. All right, so uh, objective completed, rid the companions, and I I met that um, Paltas unit. Uh, so now I can move on to my second objective here, uh, capture Amanthia. So I can click this button and I can always zoom in to where this um, objective is supposed to be. So uh, now you just need to right click here and capture this one. You see the meter and uh, depending on the city and the defenses in the city this will take either a short time or a long time. Right, so another objective completed. Very nice. Income increased by 25 gold. So now I got 73 gold. Now my companion ca cavalry is already taking up 10 gold here. And the more units I recruit, the more gold, um, the more expenses that will be. Um, and I can never recruit more units than I have gold for. So it's very um, important to cra capture these mines. And uh, basically there are also buildings called villas, like this one, Villa Ruins at Curas. Uh, these will generate not only gold, but also allow you to recruit uh, one more general. But you have a general list, and if the general list is empty, you still can't recruit any new generals. Um, but as 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 um, soon as you complete some sort of objective, you might get um, available gen generals. So sorry, generals available for recruitment, um, and you can then, in that case, if you capture the villa, click on that villa and recruit him through that one. So, I'm gonna put my slaves in town here, and uh, we got, right, two new objectives here. Uh, connect the farm to Amanthia, and they want me to connect probably this farm. And I want, they want me to connect Amanthia to Aegea. So you can create the roads to basically ferry food uh, between different places and this is an extremely important aspect of the game you need staging grounds where you basically pile up immense amounts of food so that your armies can go there and just wait um, wait to strike uh, so basically if I wanted to invade the north I might build five units of spearmen and have them travel to that city but if they run out of food the morale will be low so you won't even be able to attack them, uh, because if you run out of food, the the unit will either retreat almost automatically, or they will... Actually, I don't know what, what they will do, because I've always tried to um, keep enough food <laughs> for them. Um, right, so that that's why you need farms uh, and roads to transport that food. So it's um, very important. Right, so... Mil Creeper season has begun. What, what's cool about this um, this game is that it's even though it's an indie game, it's very detailed. I think, um, and the, the graphics is. I mean, it's 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 an indie game. It's you you get what you would normally get for an indie game. So um, I think it's very nice. But it's, I'm, I'm not playing this game for the graphics. I mean, it's, it's for the strategic and tactical value. And I find it's very, very nice. It's very cheap, t too, on Steam. Right. Let's move on. Uh, we're taking the farm. Liberate the city of Edessa. I think this is Edessa, yes? From the Illyrians. Now, the Illyrians are basically a people living around this this area. Uh, another fact that if you played, uh, if you played Europa Universalis, 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 um, you would know that because you probably met them or even played them if you played in the Italian or Greek region. Right, so. Um, Income increased by five gold. That's probably not just from the farm, but because I uh, completed my objective. And now I was too late to capture these guys. I was talking too much. 
Right, so now I won't be able to capture these because I have this limiting red barrier. 